Imagine a world where the objects all around you are controlled by thought. Just imagine, you think the word light, and your living room illuminates. Professor Milan of EPFL is developing brain machine interfaces which will allow the severely disabled to achieve greater mobility by controlling, for example, their wheelchair with their thoughts. In our lab, we are developing brain-machine interfaces. This is a technology that allows people to control devices, like a wheelchair, by using directly their brain signals. In order to allow people to achieve such a remarkable uh, capacity, we need to first understand how the brain works. Second, we need to design proper signal processing tools in order to analyze the brain signals. Third, we need to develop intelligent robotic devices in order to allow people to operate them over long periods of time. And clearly, the target population for whom this technology is designed are disabled people. Some severely motor disabled people cannot interact with the world through their normal peripheral nervous system. This means that not only can they not walk by themselves, but maybe they can't even manipulate a joystick to drive a wheelchair, for example. That's why in our lab we're developing brain-computer interfaces that can actually read the brain signals directly using an, a non-invasive EEG system. And we can look at these brain signals to uh, classify intentions to perform actions. I can imagine moving my right hand to indicate I want to turn right, but without actually moving my limbs. I will move the bar to the left and right by imagining movements of my left and right hand. The cue will appear as an arrow in the center of the screen. That was imagination of my left hand. So now I'll introduce our wheelchair. It can perceive the environment through two webcams, one here and one on the other side of the user's feet. And then we have this feedback screen here for the user. If we move to the back of the wheelchair, there's this map, which is a representation of how the wheelchair sees the environment, integrating all the sonar and the camera information. The red dots are places that are definitely obstacles, and green as far as the wheelchair is concerned, there's an navigable floor. Over the next few decades, hopefully we can start moving this technology out of the lab towards the, the real world. And we've begun some initial patient trials with this. The tools being developed by Professor Milan is pioneering a new and promising field of discovery which may, one day, allow for greater mobility and greater independence. <laughs>